With that, let's start diving in into Data Studio. We have two sections here. One is overview of Data Studio interface, very basic. If you ever, if you haven't ever seen Data Studio's interface, I'm going to quickly show you what is that. And then we're going to create a simple e-commerce dashboard together. Ready? Yes, let's go. <laughs> Just catching my breath so that we can start the next phase. Okay, let's go. This is Data Studio's homepage. We can see several things here, reports, data sources, and Explorer. I'm not going to talk about Ex Explorer in this session, but I'm going to talk about the building blocks of Data Studio, the reports and data sources. So in the reports tab, we can see a list of all the reports that we've already created in Data Studio, or, so this is already created, we created, or the ones that are shared with us. Again, just like the interface of any other kind of Google workspace tool, you have worked with Google Docs, Google Sheets, you are used to this interface, the ones that are owned by you, the ones that are shared with you, okay? And the recent ones, of course, you can click to go and edit them. You're not going to do it right now. Data sources, another tab, it hosts all of the data sources that you've created. So in Data Studio, we connect to data, we create a data source, we add that data source to a report, and then we can visualize, it, right? So on one side is data, and one side at the other side is report. And what connects your data in Google Analytics, in Facebook ads, and Google Sheet to your report is the data source. So the two most important building blocks of Google Data Studio are reports and data sources. And you can access them all, see the list, edit them, remove them from the home page interface. Okay. And uh, we can click on a blank report to start a new one. That's it. And as soon as we start creating a blank report, Data Studio will present us with a list of connectors. So add data to your report, connect to data, my data sources. Now, my data sources is the list of data sources that we could already see in the homepage, right? If I click here, I can see a list of all the data sources that I have access to or shared with me. And I can search through those data sources and select one and click add to my report. But for this example, we want to start from scratch, right? If you do not add any data source, any data to your report, you won't have access to most many of the features. So it is the first step you have to do. It. For this demo, because we want to work with Google Analytics e-commerce data, I'm going to click on Google Analytics as the data connector. We have many more data connectors. As you can see here, Google Sheets, BigQuery, Google Ads. So these are the free Google tools, Google connectors here. And then underneath, we have partner connectors which are everything. And we can search with, through them. Like for example, if I search Facebook, I can see that there is no Google connector allowing us to connect to Facebook, but there are like several from tab clicks and Corvino data and Supermetrics and the rest of them that allow us to connect to Facebook data, okay? So whatever tool you want to connect to, it's a good idea to first search here to see if there is a connector, a partner connector available for them, right? And for Google tools, you have free Google connectors. Clicking on Google Analytics, we'll see a list of all the accounts that we have access to. In this training account, I only have access to two different Google Analytics accounts. I'm going to click on Demo Account. If you do not have access to Google Analytics Demo Account, just Google it. How to get access to Google Analytics Demo Account, and then a few clicks, and you will get access to it. Here, I'm going to start with the Universal Analytics of Google Merchandise Store, which is an e-commerce store, a demo store that Google uses to sell t-shirts and mugs and other merchandise with Google's logo on it. Now we can Google it and see how it looks as well. In this property, we have three views. We can select which view do we want to connect to. I'm going to select master view one, which is the actual view that we are going to use for reporting. And I click add to date. It's again asking me if I really want to add this to my report, which I would say yes. As soon as the data source is created, and connected to this report, it will automatically place a table here for me, okay? Now, before we start taking a look at the demo report that we want to recreate, let me show you the interface of Data Studio in edit mode as well. So we've seen the homepage interface. Now, this is 
the editing interface. This is where we create all of our reports. There is the name here, which I'm going to call it simple e-commerce dashboard. Okay, give it a name. You have the menu, undo, redos, adding pages, which we will see adding data, which we will see adding different charts and graphs and visualizations to the, to the report, which we will see also community visualizations that other people have created so that you can visualize data, your data differently. It, it can be accessed from here. Adding controls for interactions, for in changing the data range can be added from here in the toolbar. And then we have some graphic items as well, like images, text, lines, and different kinds of shapes. And finally, theme and layout. On the right, we can share our report with different people. We have different options. We'll go through them. And also we can go to view mode. So view mode is the exact same way that a viewer, a user will see our report. So we have edit mode, which we can switch between edit mode and view mode by clicking on this button, right? And this is a simulation of what the user sees if they are viewing our report, right? At the middle, we have the canvas. The report canvas is whatever they see the viewer sees. So if something is on the canvas, I'm going to select it and move it halfway out of the canvas and go back to view mode. If any portion of a chart or component is outside the canvas, the viewer will not be able to see them. So it's good for hiding something from the viewer. If it's work in progress or adding some notes for yourself, you can place it outside the canvas. On the right, we have a sidebar. This sidebar is con contextual. So if you select the chart, it gives you access to the properties, to the data properties and style properties of that chart. And if you, for example, select nothing, it will show the data source that you've connected to your report and all the available fields within that data source. So this is Google Analytics. So for example, we have sessions, right? A metric called sessions or a dimension called landing page. These are the fields available in a Google Analytics data source. If we connect to another data source, we will see a different list of fields. And on the theme and layout, we can change the theme of the current report. So we have a different possibilities here. We can customize it as well if we want to. And also we have the layout. So we can, for example, select, do we want to the header of the report to be visible to the viewers? So right now, if we go to view mode, this header section is always visible, but we can go to the layout setting and make it hidden by default, right? So it's hidden and it looks more like a web. If you hover our mouse around the top of the screen, where the header comes back again, and we can click on it to go back to edit. This is what we have in the Data Studio's editing and viewing interface. And it's almost time for us to start building our e-commerce. Let's take a look at it.